President Joe Biden willfully retained classified information, according to a scathing report from special counsel Robert Herr, but the president will not face criminal charges. The report says prosecutors would not be able to prove, they don't think, that Biden intended to break the law. But the reason behind that is interesting. The report also contains a concerning assessment of President Biden's faculties and his memory. Investigators finding his, quote, memory was significantly limited in interviews they conducted. They concluded it would be difficult to get a jury to convict a, quote, sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory, unquote. And this from the report, Biden did not remember when he was vice president, forgetting on the first day of the interview when his term ended, quote, if it was 2013, when did I stop being vice president, unquote and forgetting on the second day of the interview when his term began, quote, in 2009, am I still vice president, unquote. He did not remember even within several years, the report says, when his son Bo died. It was May 2015. Though the White House and Biden's attorney objected to the description of the president's memory when he was interviewed about the documents, we should note, let us bring in former Biden White House Communications Director Kate Benningfield and CNN Special Correspondent Jamie Gangel. Kate. I'm sure you're excited to answer my questions on this, but but I'm always happy to answer your questions, Jake. <laughs> I'm Albert. sure there are Democratic voters out there. We know polls already think that a majority of Democrats, not just voters in general, but Democrats are concerned President Biden is too old to be president. And I'm sure some of them today are looking at these news reports and saying, this guy might have been a great president, but he should not be the nominee. What do you say to that? Well, look, I mean, there is some editor there's some editorializing in this report about Biden's uh, memory. And I think if you think about what it takes to sit down for one of these interviews and ask to be asked to recall information, dates, specifics about things that happened six, seven, eight years earlier. To not know what year Everyone, you're vice president? He's he's got a lot on his plate. He's working on a lot of different things. He as he himself said, these interviews happened the day after the attack in Israel, so he had been consumed with dealing with that. I think Anybody sitting down for an interview like that where you're being asked specific dates over and over again, you're not going to remember every single one. So there's some editorializing in the report about uh, his, his memory. But I think let's look at what the report actually says, which is, you know, this was a year-long investigation, seven million documents, hundreds of witnesses, and no charges recommended. I mean, I think the special counsel here did probably the most... Uh, detailed and involved investigation that you could do of this situation looked for every opportunity to say that uh, Joe Biden had acted uh, in a way that uh, deserved charges and, and didn't find that. So the other clear thing that we see in this report is the distinction between Joe Biden's case and Donald Trump's case, where, yeah. where you, have, you have the special counsel saying Donald Trump intentionally obstructed justice. Joe Biden said, take whatever you need, Look at whatever you want. I'm a totally open book on this. And that's a huge, huge difference. Jamie, what are the White House's options here? I mean, it seems to me like as a, as a PR matter, as a legal matter, this is done. It's a W. But as a political and PR matter, this could be bad. Um, but they're choosing just to emphasize the positive. I think it is bad. I don't think there's any question about it. So, look, it is true. Everything Kate said about his cooperating. I covered the story from the beginning. They absolutely cooperated. You know, things were found in an office that had been locked up for years. Trump will try to say, look, I, you know, this was the same thing. But the fact that they didn't bring charges linked to these memory issues about his son, about when he was vice president, these are poignant things that people remember. Uh, I think it probably won't be long before some Biden surrogates remind people that Donald Trump just confused Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi. Sure. So we have two elderly people running, but I think this is bad news for the White House. So, and, and let's talk uh, about that a, a little bit more, because this is a particularly bad week for this report and its comments about President Biden's faculties and his memory to come out, because twice this week he has acted as if he, in 2021, spoke to European leaders who have been dead for years. Uh, once he confused uh, Francois Mitterrand, who died in 1996, with Emmanuel Macron, who is still very much alive. And another time he was referring to Angela Merkel, uh, until recently the, the chancellor of Germany, and referred to Helmut Kohl, who I think died in 2017. Um, so this memory issue is already out there. But I want to know how many voters in Michigan, Wisconsin, you think 
know the difference between no, no, Cole they don't and, know, but they, but they Burkle, know when or somebody are going to cast their vote. Well, you asked. You Sorry, asked. okay. Or are going to cast their vote for president based on whether someone is naming Emmanuel Macron or Francois Mitterrand, well, whose might, name they probably don't even know. But it's so not about I that. Think, it's about faculty and memory, and 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 whether or not somebody they perceive is competent. You saw the poll in NBC News that had like Donald Trump is something like forty eight percent perceive him to be competent and like 32 percent uh perceived president biden i'm not saying that that's accurate but that's the perception well, right and so they're going to look at how is he doing the job they're going to look at what has he gotten done they're going to listen to what he's got to say as he's traveling as he's campaigning over the next nine months they're going to hear as jamie noted they're going to hear donald trump out there saying you know nikki haley and nancy pelosi inverting their names they're going to hear him saying all sorts of things that are have, shall we say, a casual relationship with the truth. I mean, this is a campaign where you're going to have Donald Trump out spewing invective every day and talking about retribution. And people are going to make a decision about which person is going to be the best president for them and is going to do things that's going to make their lives better, not who can name Francois Mitterrand or Emmanuel Macron. All right, merci beaucoup.